Tejbo if you want. And back your corner. Lee against Nunez is brought to you by GoDaddy. I've watched many sporting events of different types in this wonderful arena. I have never heard a reception or a roar quite as big as the one we just heard for Angela Lee. Round one, five five-minute rounds ahead of us potentially. Good start from Nunez who connects with that left kick to the head. This is definitely Nunez's world. She's had so much experience in the Muay Thai field that you know, we got to wonder at what point is Angela going to choose to attempt to take this fight to the ground. Right hand from Nunez with a counter blow. She's quick with those kicks upstairs, isn't she? Yeah, but I like how Angela's immediately starting to cut the angles off of Nunez. She's, just she's got eight. her up against the cage, eliminating the, the, the space that she's able to move around in. Just ate a very solid jab from Nunez, and this crowd are really getting involved. Angela there, shall Singapore, they're shouting, forgive me. But the Singapore fighter takes another kick to the head. And Nunez is giving more than her, her fair share of the offense so far inside the first minute. But the more kicks Nunez chooses to throw, it's gonna get the odd. that's it. There is that space, the clinch. This is where Angela usually, usually takes fights to the ground once she gets into the clinch. Pressing the Brazilian up against the cage wall, giving her no room to work whatsoever. Nunez wants to frame out. She's got a frame. Oh, nice and lock takedown from the, the champion. Roar. What a roar from the crowd here as that takedown put into effect. This is Angela's world. She's trying to pin down that arm there with that left leg as she's slowly starting to maneuver around. Nunez doing a good job of framing off with that knee, keep a little bit of space. The feet are probably gonna go to the hips pretty soon. You can see her trying to slide that foot into the hip, create even more space. Immense experience Angela Lee has, albeit just 20 years of age. Just had a little sneaky look at the elbow there. It didn't work out for her. She thought about it. You can see that now she's in the full guard of Estella. So you can see she frames underneath. She's got that underhook now on one side. She's got an overhook on the other. Estella tries to pull her in first from the back of the head. Now just restricting the movement of Angela's arms. Keeping her close, denying her any leverage. Angela scoots around or tries to. Passes the guard there, Steve. That's huge. She's got past the guard, but now Estella's got her back up against the cage, and she's going to try to walk up that cage. Lee's probably going to try to scoot her around, get her back away from the cage so she can keep her there in position. Up, back into half guard. That's OK. Elbow and then fist to the stomach from Angela Lee. More. She's using that right uh, left leg of hers to kind of shield away from Angela from her to create a little bit more defensive posture. See, she's able to push away from it, trying to get back up to her feet. Angela immediately swarms on her, jumps onto her back. And she's got one it. hook in. It looks like she's got two hooks in. Crowd absolutely roaring her on here, Mitch. Oh, Angela's got a lot of finishes from the back. She's going to try to flatten her out. This is a bad spot for Nunez to be in. Coming up to the final minute and a half of the opening round. Remember, there'll be five five-minute rounds here. It's important for Nunez. Oh, now, here, now look at this. She's got that leg triangled around her other one and the leg underneath it. She's got it very, this is called a, she might be setting up another one of those twisters, man. Nunez has got to be real careful. Don't let that hand go by. Surely not hand. another twister. That's what it looks like, Steve. That's it. It's it. It's the signature move. Surely not in a world title defense. It looks hard. Estela Nunez doesn't look in too much discomfort, apart from the fact she's taking multiple punches to the head. She's got a limp arm out. That right arm's got a limp arm, and she's got to slide out. That's it. She's taking some shots. This is more than a dozen blows to the head now. Angela Lee piling on the pressure. The Singapore fans roaring their hearts out for her. Estela Nunez continues to resist. That lockdown position right there in the legs is keeping her in this position, but look at Estela Nunez. What heart the Brazilian has. She's got a limp arm. That right arm has got to get out from underneath the armpit of Angela Lee. 
She's unable to throw anything back, just consumed with defending, and she's only got oh, one foot. hand to do it. Look at the foot there, Steve. She's trying to push off with her right leg. If she can push off with the right leg and create space, that's what's keeping her. She almost had it there. The bell saves her. Tremendous resistance from the Brazilian, but what a round from Angela Lee. And this crowd all around me, on their feet, going nuts. Ready? And Estela Nunez has shown us that she is here to stick around and do some damage while she does. And she starts this first round pretty much as she did, sorry, this second round pretty much as she did the first with good hands. And Angela Lee will have to be very careful of that overhand right from Nunez. And that landed right on the button. Estela Nunez survived the worst possible scenario that has to have her confidence really high heading into this second round with the champion. And remember, as Nunez sets up this attack with her fists, her real power comes from her legs. She can kick up to the head with devastating results. And Angela Lee will be mindful of that. See, immediately, Angela Lane is cutting off the angles, trying to get her pressed up against the cage. Typically, Angela doesn't like to shoot for a lot of takedowns. She gets most of her takedowns from the clinch position. So that's what Nunez has to be careful of in this next round. And it's quite clear that Angela wants the full contact. She wants to get in there close and nullify the attack that Nunez can provide in the stand-up. Caught the kick, went for the takedown, and delivered a knee as she was pinned up against the cage. There. More knees to the head. Estella gets up on her feet, though. There's Angela a... tries to pull her down. So she's got her in a Darce choke position. One hand under the neck, the other hand laced under her arm. She's trying to snap her down. Goes for the outside trip. That's an anaconda choke, Steve. Collapses beautifully. The anaconda, that's tight. She's saying she's OK. She's giving Olivier Costa the thumbs up. Tremendous resistance again. Estela Nunez. Right there, she has to frame off her hands, create a little bit of space with that right arm. So the arm is, that she's essentially getting choked with her own arm. She's still giving Olivier the thumbs up. Tremendous resistance from the Brazilian, but Angela Lee's attack is furious. Look at Nunez, her head is pressed up against the side there of Angela Lee. Angela Lee has both arms nice and tight, but there is space for Nunez to breathe. Her right arm is not completely tight to her I back. Think she it. She's done it. It couldn't last forever. Angela Lee has made her second successful defense of a world title. The tears are already falling. She's done it again. The roar around me at the Singapore Indoor Stadium is deafening. Into the arms of her father. Ken Lee, who's coached her since she was a young girl. And the emotion is evident for all to see. The resistance from Estela Nunez was strong. And right up until the very final moment, it looked like it was going to continue. But there's the relief. A picture for all of Singapore to look at and be proud. Christian Lee, her brother, giving her a hug. Mitch, take us through these final moments. Rich Franklin is with us as well. Rich, just take us through these final moments. I, I tell you, I, I, it's just to watch Angela Lee do this. I mean, she's she's been able to pull off an anaconda, a twister, guillotine chokes, arm bars. It's crazy. And, and you know, you saw her prior to this actually working the snap down, trying to earn that takedown. And then she she was set in this kind of anaconda choke position from the standing position the whole time, and ended up working it to the trip where she earned that position. It's just amazing to see the different angles that she's able to work various submissions from. She's always looking for something. Well, Dom Lau has the official decision, and you can bet that it is going to be met with rapturous cheers from the crowd here in Singapore. Ladies and gentlemen, to present the belt for this bout, we have Mr. Roger Chen, GoDaddy's Vice President of Asia. And now, your referee, Olivier Coast, has put a stop to this fight after two minutes and 18 seconds in the second round. For your winner, by way of Anaconda Choke, and still one women's Anaway Champion of the World, Unstoppable Angela Lee!
Estela Nunez falls to five and one. The champion Angela Lee improves to eight and oh. Yeah.